My next guest is going to be making his debut on Contender Series this Tuesday. It is Jack Della Maddalena joining me here oh. on the program for the very first time. Jack, how's it going? Good, thanks, James. Thanks for having me. Hey, it's uh, great to talk to you, man. And I got to mention to our audience, this is actually take two. Uh, you just had a power outage a second ago. Is everything okay? It's all right. It was, it, it's been sunny and then we heard a couple of thunderstorms. Some rain has hit us in Vegas and then the power went out for a second. But we're good. We're up and running. Everything is a-okay. I like the dedication of this interview. No matter what, get it done. It's all good. I appreciate it. But uh, I wanted to start first with uh, getting this amazing opportunity. I know you mentioned to me off air that uh, you had uh, plenty of notice for this opportunity. Uh, was this something you were expecting? As good as your record is, I, I know uh, sometimes you never know who they're going to pick for the show. Uh, we weren't not so much expecting it. We just sort of, it was pretty tough at the time, obviously, with the world where it is at the moment. It was hard for us to get the the UFC obviously didn't want to just drag us out. It was hard to get out of Australia. Not many shows happening locally. But yeah, probably about six months ago, we got the got the all clear to do the Dana White Contender Series. So we're in luck. Yeah, and uh, we're really excited to see the fight on Tuesday. I want to go all the way back though, man. First time you and I have had a chance to chat. Where did this journey start for you? How did you get involved in combat sports? I um, basically played rugby as a young man in Australia. So nice. playing rugby from a young age. Just got into that like physicality. I enjoyed competing, and and then pretty much saw a couple of MMA videos and was intrigued at that point onwards. And so 13, 14, just got into it. Started doing different martial arts practice, and then joined my gym, Scrappy MMA, Ben Vickers, at the age of about 15, 16. Excellent. So you took sort of the Alex Volkanovsky blueprint, you know, play some rugby yeah. and then come over to, to combat yeah. sports. I love rugby. I played that. I played it uh, in high school. I was actually a hooker uh, back in the day. So yeah. it's uh, it's a tough, uh, tough position, which is uh, which is good. How much has that helped your fight career? Because, you know, I know it's obviously a team sport, but also, uh, you know, there's a lot of physicality in that. I'm sure you got used to taking some of those bumps before you got into doing uh, full full fledged MMA. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a, a, obvious, as you know, it's a physical game. You want to like you're basically running around the field trying to tackle people. You've got to try and stay on your feet a lot of the time, so you build some strong hips in a way. Which, but I, so that side it definitely translates to MMA a bit. Just that physicality, getting that balance. But it's obviously different being a team sport. And but yeah, I think it's a it's transitioned for me really well. But I'm definitely fully delved into the world of martial arts now. Did you have any influences in terms of you going into martial arts, whether it was, you know, maybe a fighter? I know a lot of us, when we were growing up, we watched, you know, Bruce Lee or John claude Van Damme movies. What was it for you that sort of gave you that influence to go into martial arts? I um, just watched all sorts of different videos, MMA videos and boxing stuff. But I think one of the part, like the people that I saw and I really was intrigued at that point was um, Anderson Silva. I guess he's sort of like the Bruce Lee of my era in a way. But yes, watching him fight is pretty incredible. And at that point, I thought like that is definitely something that I like. Just his creativity and freeness in there. It was awesome to watch. It's one thing to take martial arts and to get into shape and all that, you know, cut some cut some pounds and all that. But at what point did you know this was something you wanted to do as a career? Career? I'm not even now, like it's Pretty much now, I guess I can see a future of a career, but I just did it because I really enjoyed it. And uh, obviously, playing rugby, I just like competing. So as soon as I started doing it, I thought, how can you compete in this? And had a couple of fights, and here we are. Do you have a job outside of MMA? Like, what's paying the bills for you right now? Nothing at the moment. I'm jobless. So just a little bit of coaching, but... Just giving this a red hot crack now that the opportunity. Go all in. You might as well. Big opportunity, right? You might as well uh, go all in on it. So that's great. Yeah. Hell yeah. And on that same note, you're rep by one of the best management uh, groups in the game, Paradigm Sports. How did this come together with you signing with them? Uh, lucky enough, I'm from Perth, so Western Australia. And Tim, Tim Simpson from... Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. He's from Perth as well. So I had some mutual connections. Had a like a management company reach out. So basically, I just reached out to the only person I knew that was in the management field and just said, what do you think of this? And we got talking and, yeah, basically from there, we made a relationship and team paradigm from then on out. Yeah, it's really awesome. Um, let's talk about the, the your opponent here. Seven and one record. What do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him here? He's a, It looks like he's an aggressive, strong, good fighter. He looks well-rounded, good striking. 
I think I, I think it's a good matchup for me, being that he's so aggressive. I think that's where I can show my skills. So I'm a, super excited for the fight. I can't, can't wait. And who have been some of your main training partners leading into this fight? Always my older brother, Josh. Josh Del Madalena is the man. He's definitely been someone who's been training partners with me for for a long time. But then I've got Jack Becker. He's actually fighting tonight back home. Oh, nice. For an Australian title. But we've just got an awesome scrappy MMA. We've got an incredible team. Ben Vickers, head man. We've got so many training partners down there that we've just we're in a good spot, you know, to show the world what's up. And got to ask as well, uh, who made the trip down with you as far as your cornerman? Who's there with you in Vegas? Me and Ben. Ben Vickers is the head coach of Scrappy MMA. He's made the trip out, and his brother actually lives out in New York. Patrick Vickers, so he's come out to join us as well. So we got a good tight knit crew with us real close team and, and had you been to north america before i imagine vegas probably a first time for you or have you been there I, I, I was lucky enough to go at a young age just on a family sort of vacay we stopped in and had a look but it's obviously different now that i'm a bit older yeah, vegas as an adult is a lot different than, than as a kid but that's still cool i mean i know you can't really do much you're training for the fight but what do you think so far it's pretty unique right it's an interesting town yeah it is cool we haven't we, to be honest, we haven't really delved in too deep into Vegas itself. We've been pretty much on the outskirts, going to the PI and back, going to the grocery store. But we have one night to sort of check it out, so we look forward to that. And i got to ask, you seem like you're in a great mood now, but I know the fight's coming up on Tuesday. How's the weight cut going ahead of the fight? Yeah, it's actually – it's been – it's easy. A couple of pa- – like not much to go. A couple of pounds, really. Okay. It's pretty – I never normally cut a whole heap of weight. So we're just enjoying some good, healthy food and getting ready to weigh in and then have some fun. I don't even know the answer to this. You'll be the first one to answer it for me. Do you get access to the PI or any of the stuff that the UFC has because you're on Contender Series or no? Is that off limits? Well, I don't, I don't actually. We were lucky enough. We got in one day and then we just sort of just started booking it from then on. I don't know if we we're allowed to, but we... As cheeky Aussies, we snuck our way in and then we stuck around the whole time. <laughs> Good stuff, man. That's awesome. Um, how do you see the fight playing out on Tuesday? What's your prediction? How do you see it going down? I think it's going to be a good fight. You know, I can definitely, I reckon, be a good, solid fight from the get go. And I reckon, I'm, I think I'm going to get the finish. I'm definitely chasing the finish. I don't want anything else but a finish. So uh, I think I'll finish. I think when it finishes, it depends more on him. Excellent. And uh, what, what would it mean after, you know, your your career, everything you put into it to, to win that UFC contract? I'm sure you visualize that moment. Yeah, that's going to be awesome, you know. But I think the main goal that we're actually ticking off here is I started off my career with two losses. And I remember that night, we, me and my coach, Ben Vickers, we made like a pact that we'll get to 10 wins, two losses. And I'm nine wins, two losses now. So I think that is probably the bigger goal. But yeah, yeah. To, to kick that goal from 10, 10 fights ago is going to be pretty incredible. Well, I don't know if you know, there was a guy on last week, Chad and Helliger, and I only know this because I commentated a couple of his fights. He was 2-5 and five in his MMA career, and he just won a contract last week on Contender Series. So anything's possible. I, I love those stories like that, and I'm glad you brought that up because I think that is something that's very interesting as far as, you know, it's, it's not where you start, it's where you finish, right? Absolutely, yeah. I think this is a tough sport, and you're going to get your losses, so why not get them out of the way early? Before we go, we talked all about fighting. What about downtime? What, what are some of your hobbies outside of uh, MMA? I don't know if you're a Netflix guy or you watch any, play any video games or watch any other sports. What is, uh, what, what's sort of on the docket outside of fighting? Well, at the moment, it's, I love food, you know. Food is <laughs> definitely something that I like to do outside of fighting. But And also, we've picked up the Nintendo Switch and we're pretty there good There we at go. Pizza. That's the answer I was looking for. What, what are you getting into on the Switch? We've pretty much been going back and forth with the PGA 21. Nice. Yeah, which is a good game. That's great. Are you a golfer? No, no not outside of the Nintendo Switch world. <laughs> there you go. Your golfing skills are good. That's, that's like me. I'm a much better golfer on Nintendo Switch with the Mario Golf game than I am in real life. So but I can relate to that. After, after this, I reckon I'll give it a crack. There you go. I like the Mario Golf game. They have that advent, uh, the, they have the uh, uh, adventure mode. You can play the different courses and stuff. Yeah, you're playing right. something, but you're doing PGA. I think that's a different game, right? It's a lot more realistic. I think. Oh, it's okay, like- yeah. Mine's more like it's for kids, but you know, you know. There, there you go. But it's still fun. I recommend it. If uh, if you like this PGA game, I think you'll like Mario Golf as well. Yeah, too, so. I'll give it a crack. There you go. Uh, Jack, thanks so much for doing this, man. I know you got a bunch of other media and other stuff to do. Uh, just remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media. And if you got any sponsors or shout outs, I'll give you the last word. Uh, Jack 
Della Madalena on Instagram. Hit me up. That's where you can get me. And yeah, CMBT there, awesome supplement brand. NIQ Wellness. Let's do it. That's sweet. They're the that's the crew. 